right guys, I've got the iPriv here. Hello iPriv. Mm. Hello iPriv. Bitch. Hello iPriv. I'm here. She's here too. Oh. And we're gonna do a vape video with this. So let's get up close and personal with this. And we'll come back and vape it. Yeah, I'm in the car because I can't vape at the Ronald McDonald house. And I'm still at the Ronald McDonald house because my baby is still in the hospital. So let's dive down close. Okay guys, here's the packaging that the Smock Eye Priv kit comes in. On the front it does indicate that it is voice controlled and it is compatible with 18650, 21700, or 2700 batteries. There we go. Alright, so here is my iPriv. I do have it in purple and it comes in a bunch of different colors. Do not eat packet. Let's pop out the mod and I'll show you what the kit comes with and then we'll dive right in. Right on top we do have a user's manual for the iPriv kit. A battery warning card. So these are the different voice commands that you can do, which we will try out. A warranty card and verification code on the back. The kit does include the Smock TFV12 Prince sub-ohm tank with one V12 Prince strip coil at 0.1 ohm and then one V12 Prince strip coil at 0.1 ohm, but it's a mesh coil head. And we'll run through the specs of the Prince tank just in case you haven't heard of it, but if you haven't, where have you been? It is a 25 millimeter base and 28 millimeters at its widest with this bubble glass. The kit does include a straight glass tube piece as well. It does have a hinge and lock top fill system, so where is the button? There it is. You push the button and then you can swivel open the top and fill in that little port, avoiding the center. This glass piece can hold 8 mils and the straight straight glass tube can hold 5 mils. Again, it's a 1.5 ohm coil in here right now, good between 40 and 100 watts, but best between 80. The kit does come with extra o-rings and extra parts, and here is the extra coil, the mesh one. You can see it in there, it is a mesh coil down in there. This is also 0.15 ohm. This one's good between 40 and 80 watts, performs its best between 60 and 70 watts. It does have dual airflow slots here at the bottom that are adjustable and they are on a stopper and you can fully close the airflow slots. It is stainless steel and glass construction and change out the coil, you just spin the base off like any old tank. Oh, I didn't close the top right. And the drip tip is removable if you want to. This one does match pretty well to the tank as well as the mod, so I'll leave it on. And it's about 63 millimeters from tip to tip. The kit also includes a micro USB to USB cable. And I am gonna fill up my tank today with my flavor, Cloud Kiss. It is a strawberry cake batter flavor. It's my very first flavor I made with Bonsai Vapor. You can head over to bonsaivapor.com and check out my first flavor. It is available in 100 mils, 70% VG, 30% PG, available in 0, 3, 6, and 12 milligrams. You can use my code TIA20 for 20% off this flavor or any other flavor on Bonsai Vapor's website. But check it out and let me know what you think in the comments below. Let me go ahead and fill this sucker up. All right, that's filled up. I'm gonna let that wick up over here for a moment. See if it can, can we balance it? No, too top heavy. Oh, oh, stay. All right, so here is the iPriv. It's very like Transformer-esque mechanical. Look, it says iPriv on the back. There is the fire button here on the side. This big screen, the regulatory buttons here on the front. At the top, we do have a centered 510 pin. On the bottom, we do have the micro USB port there. And then the battery door is this back part. So you just pull it up, it's magnets or magnetic. It has a top and bottom magnet here and here and here. It also does come with an 18650 battery adapter, which is in it right now. So you can take that out. So here is the 1860 battery adapter, which I'm going to use. And it does tell you which directions to put your batteries. You can see plus and minus. And then in here on the back of the battery compartment, you can see plus and minus for which directions to put your 21700 or your 2700 batteries. All right, got my batteries loaded into the 18650 adapter. I'm gonna go ahead and push them in. Oh, and it does turn on. There's a light. Hi, 
Gloria. Oh my god, that's ridiculous. It just said like, hello master, I'm your new warrior. I can't. That's so weird. So the dimensions of this are 95.5 millimeters tall by 35 millimeters this way and 56 millimeters this way. I wonder if the voice control is like automatically on this thing. So okay, it's not on. It did do that little speech when it when I install the batteries. So one, two, three, four, five. We'll turn on and you can see. Hi, Master. I am your new warrior. No. <laughs> no. Okay, I'm not sure if the voice activation is automatically turned on when you first turn it on. Um, so we'll try that in a second. But I did want to show you guys the screen and like the information that it displays on screen for you. You have the dual battery lifes. You have the power mode and the power output, which is the output is 16.9 watts, random, and the N stands for normal because there's normal, soft, or hard for vaping preference. You've got the ohms reader, which is at zero because there is nothing on top. You have a working voltage meter and a seconds counter right here. The screen does look pretty cool. It's kind of like, reminds me of the Iron Man, and for some reason, this is on. I didn't turn this on, and it's changing all the different colors that it has, which I like. I like flashy rainbow lights, but um, I want to see if it's just voice activated already, so... Hello, iPriv. I'm here. Oh my god, it comes on. So I'm just going to try one of the voice commands because obviously this is what everyone wants to see first. Like, this is the thing. And you can see the little um, microphone flashing there at the top of the screen, meaning she's freaking listening. She's not listening anymore. And I think you can change the... Um, the tone of voice like from male to female but um i don't really care i don't have a preference i don't think anyways hello ipriv i'm here my wattage mission complete so it automatically went to 50 because you can like set it for your your uh old wattage so let's do something else because that was kind of dumb because i didn't know what i was going to say and see she's still listening to me i got the little commands over here and that bothers me because like <laughs> Who is listening on the other end? Just kidding. Okay, so hello, iPriv. <gasps> Bitch is ignoring me. Hello, iPriv. I'm here. She just likes to be talked to mean. TC mode. TC mode ready. Okay, that's kind of cool. Only because I don't like having to do all the clicky clicky changes to the menu. Like, I'm sure you can still do that. Like the one, two, three, four, five, and then you get in the puffs and the modes and the setting and you know the traditional smock or smoke, whatever you want to call the company. The traditional way that their menu interface is, but this is pretty cool. I guess like it's just it's convenient if you don't want to click through, but it's also kind of weird because like this is the first mod that I've ever got that I can uh, talk to. So let's try this again. Um, hello, iPriv. I'm here. Lock device. Locked. Locked. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Oh, there is. Okay. Hello, iPriv. I'm here. Unlock device. Unlocked. Oh, that was a weird unlock. Um, voice change. Ooh, voice change. Voice has changed. Ooh, voice change. Voice has changed. Voice change? Voice Okay, there's three. Voice change. Voice change. Voice has changed. I don't like that one. Voice change. Voice has changed. Uh, wattage mode. Wattage mode. Wattage mode ready. See, she likes a little bit of sass. So as long as that little um, microphone is flashing, you can continue to make voice commands like switch off light. Mm, that's not the right voice command. Turn off light. Light is off. Yeah, because why? How about turn on light? Light is off. I said switch on light. Light is on. Bitch is particular. <laughs> light color. No. That has changed. Oh, she heard me. Where's the microphone on this? Like, if I talk to the top or the bottom, does it make a difference? Like a microphone? Hello? Hello? Hello, iPriv. I'm here. Higher power. Power has been increased. Lower power. Power has been reduced. Lower power. Power has been reduced. So it reduced it by five watts. Okay, so that's how that works. By the way, I'm having too much fun with this. This mod goes from one to 200 and 
30 watts with an atomizer range for the resistance of 0.1 to 2.5 ohm and like I said it has the uh, battery adapters it also has upgradable firmware which you can use by sticking it in that port oh my gosh okay I'm turning this light off because I don't need an iPriv or no <laughs> what's the command hello iPriv yeah. light off no turn off light Oh, she's so particular. Okay, so in the temperature control mode, it does do titanium and stainless steel and nickel. It also has three TCR memory modes and um, the atomizer resistance lock. This is all standard. For the temperature, you can go from 200 degrees Fahrenheit to 600 degrees Fahrenheit, and you can have in temperature mode as low as 0.05 ohm for the resistance. So it does have the round true uh, color screen or whatever that's called. Like TFT, I'm not sure what that stands for at the moment because I'm a little rusty and I just noticed this. You guys, there's a peel for the screen. Can I get a, whoa, oh my god, can I get it? I'm having trouble, so let's peel it. Ready? Can you see it? Oh, that's just the best. That's just, that's just the good stuff. It's like blue. Oh my gosh, yes. Wait, now does the screen look weird because that was blue. So like, hello iPriv. <gasps> Don't ignore me iPriv. It does kind of look a little different. Oh wow. No atomizer. Oh, she's sassy. And then obviously you can <laughs> adjust it yourself by 0.1 increments like so. Uh, what else? Oh yeah, so there's obviously a custom customizable red light. I don't know, do you guys want me to go through like the one, two, three? No atomizer. So, three clicks you can go to the mode settings puff settings my settings so you can customize and screen settings and the voice settings and the led light settings and power off so like here is the menu mode the traditional menu mode or you can do a lot of this stuff with the voice commands puff settings you can have a puff counter uh you can it says i already took two puffs but i didn't so it's lying somebody else used it Anyways, we're back to the interface. So really, I mean, it does say this is spring loaded, but I wasn't able to make it spring. I don't know, this does have a 10 second cutoff, intelligent atomizer recognition, so it like should adjust the wattage to the ohms, a puff monitoring system, short circuit protection, and overheat protection. I do love my protections. Now let's put the atomizer on since she's so quick to tell me when there isn't one on. Like, is she going to say there is one or, like, nothing? Also, now that I'm putting these two together, they don't match enough. And, I don't know, the two purples kind of clash for me. But I don't really care. Atomize new. Oh. Atomize the new. It is new because I've never put it on before, so. There we go. Now it's reading the atomizer. But it's supposed to be the intelligent, like, it's supposed to be, what do you mean? Intelligent, uh resistance what is what was that again intelligent atomizer recognition i thought that meant that it would change to like the preferred wattage of this tank which i guess it is a low wattage tank like surprisingly for or not a low wattage tank but a low wattage coil surprisingly for um this mod since this mod can go to 230 watts but this coil can only go to 100 like that's the, the range and that's not even its best so i'll go to its best its best range is 980 to 90 whoa but i don't vape that high so like i'm gonna start it at 70 oh my god really I'm going to start it at 69 because I'm an adult. All right, guys, so that's the iPriv. Okay, right off the bat, this thing is heavy. Like, for me, I do not want to be holding this all the time. This is heavy. Like, and I'm a type of person, like, I'll hold on to my vape like I hold on to my phone. And I vape, like, when I have, like, a vape session, it's slow. Like, I like to enjoy my vape and like I would when I was a cigarette smoker. And so to have to sit here and hold this, like, not to be a wuss but it like makes my hand tired like I don't want to hold this brick really but it's cool with the voice activation that's pretty 
freaking cool. I know there's a few other mods out there now that do this, but I think this was the first one. Correct me in the comments if I'm wrong because I'm a little bit out of the loop since dealing with my baby having open heart surgery and all that. So let's take a rip off this. Um, traditionally, if you follow my channel, you know that these smoke or smock, however you want to say it, they're tanks are just like blasting you with vape and they're kind of difficult for me sometimes especially I, I was getting used to them and then I got pregnant so it's especially going to be a lot for me now that I am vaping again or then I haven't vaped in like over nine months at the time I did vape as soon as I wasn't pregnant though Wow, clouds. Okay, so that's just at 69 watts. Um, it's the first vape off a brand new coil, so it never really tastes the greatest, I think. And this is my flavor, so I've had this flavor in like literally every single device I own, and I've had it personally better, like sweeter and more distinct flavor tones, but again, that's just my first impression hit because it's brand new coil. You need, you need to run through like at least 10 plus vapes off something to get like even close to where the flavor could be. <laughs> That's bitch. That's a lot of vape. But I'm liking the temperature. This is this is a good temperature for me for this coil. It is a super low ohm so it does create a lot more clouds and it in theory could go up higher in wattage but these are relatively low wattage coils. Holy crap. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay. This is too baby in here. Probably, they probably can't even see me. Okay. <laughs> I'm a fog machine. Somebody could have hired me as a fog machine for Halloween. <coughs> okay, so that's actually not too bad. It's just a lot of vape, but it's not like too hot. And it's not like force feeding me in the way that I don't enjoy it. Oh my God, it's too baby in here. I can tell they can't see me because I can't hardly see me. People probably think we're like smoking weed and hella tough. I've talked a lot about the tank, which this video really isn't about the tank since we've all looked at this tank a million times, but the mod. I think that the voice activation is pretty cool. Um, and I like how you don't have to say hello IPRIV before every single command. Ugh, she's ignoring me, she didn't respond. Um, and it, that it leaves the microphone on for a little bit to let you make other commands. That way you're not like, oh, I'm probably, hello, I'm probably like a freaking parrot. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below about this mod. But that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed. And if you did, give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe to this channel for more videos. Check the description box below for important links like where to find me outside of YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat. I also have a second YouTube channel where I do non-vape related videos. So if you want to see me and the other things that I do, you can check that channel out. And one more thing before you go. If vaping is something you're passionate about, please learn how you can fight for your right to vape. So as always, I'm Tia, and thank you so much for watching.